CAD 230 air motor base. We're going to model this air motor using SOLIDWORKS. The blueprints can be found in D2L under steam engine. And so you can download that and then open it. And we're going to start off by creating this geometry here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a center rectangle we'll extrude that a quarter of an inch and then we'll create another center rectangle and then we'll extrude that a quarter of an inch and then we'll fill it that. So let's get started. File new part okay and then we'll go and check our units of measurement we're working with inches, three decimal places of accuracy. We'll say OK. We'll start a sketch. On the top plane with the center rectangle. Smart dimension, three, six, we'll then take that geometry and we'll extrude that a quarter of an inch. green check mark it. We'll then create another rectangle on top. Select the top plane. Select sketch. Center rectangle. And we'll make this one a quarter of an inch smaller. So this will be 2.5. by 5.5 and then we'll extrude this a quarter of an inch then we will add a fillet around this edge at a quarter of an inch Fill it, dial in the radius, select the edge, and green check mark it. We're going to now add the hole and what we're going to add is a countersunk hole on the bottom of the plate or the base that's going to be 0.375 with a 0 0.750 countersink 0 0.250 deep. So we'll look at the bottom of it. We'll select hole wizard. We'll then find our countersink. And that's ready. We're going to go with standard ANSI inches. And then we're going to dial this down to the size, which would be 0.375. three-eighths. Fit will be normal and then this will be through all 
and then we want to be able to add some of these options so that we can make sure that we have the same custom sizing and so this is going to be and we're, we're going to leave that at 0.397 we're going to update the top and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this per the settings that they have in here because I believe this would be better than to dial it in per the settings on here because I think the accuracy of SolidWorks is better than this old machine shop print. If we did want to update it to those print specifications, what we would do is we would specify 0.375 right here. And then right here for the, the width from the top, and that would be this edge from this edge here to this edge, we would set that to 750. And then the depth of that, we would have to drill down to this part right here and set that down to 0.25. So we're just going to take the defaults for it. After we've dialed in a 3 8 countersunk hole, what we do is we go to position and then we select the side of the plate and then we'll bring it to our origin. Green check mark, spacebar, isometric view. and then we'll save that. And when you save these parts, save them all to the same directory. We'll name that with your initials. Hit save. Alrighty, and that completes this video.